Hello all. Today we will be looking at a question given in gate 2018 in an entity relationship in short ER model. Suppose R is a many to one relationship from entity set E1 to entity set E2. Assume that E1 and E2 participate totally in R and that the cardinality of E1 is greater than the cardinality of E2. Which one of the following is true about R? Option A. Every entity in E1 is associated with exactly one entity in E2. Some entity in E1 is associated with more than one entity in E2. Every entity in E2 is associated with exactly one entity in E1. Every entity in E2 is associated with at most one entity in E1. The NPTEL video reference is lecture 13 on ER model. Course name is Database Management Systems by Professor Partho Pratim Das from IIT Kharagpur. Now let us look at the useful data before solving the question. Now the ER model is used to define a conceptual view of a database system. And the database system is now portrayed as an ER diagram. And ER diagram defines the data elements and the relationship we have between those data elements. And the uh, ER model consists of an entity, attribute and relation. Entity is defined as any object and the entities are group uh, come divided into either a strong entity which has a primary key or a weak entity which does not have a primary key and is dependent on a strong entity. For example, a car. A car is an object. A student is an object. So these are entities. Now each entity has some properties and attributes define the properties of the entity. Now an attribute can be a key attribute which is an attribute which is unique to that entity. Composite attribute uh, in, in the uh, key attribute meaning if the attribute is uh, unique to the entity set. Composite attribute means that attribute can be is composed of different other attributes. Multi-valued attribute where the attribute can have more than one value or derived attribute where it can be derived using other attributes. For example, for a car it can be mileage, license number, manufacturer, model, make, etc. A relation defines the relationship between two or more entities. A relation can be either one to one, one to many, many to one or many to many. Now to understand all this theory, let us look at an example. So given this ER diagram, we have something called a vehicle. Vehicle is an object or car, you can say car or vehicle is an object. The object this is an entity and entities are represented using a rectangle and entity has some attributes. In this case make is an attribute, license plate is an attribute which is a composite attribute comprising of state and the number and it also has a primary key which is the ID. This primary key, key attribute will be unique in the entity set. If you have a set of vehicles, vehicle ID will be unique for each entity in the entity set. We have another entity called customer. It has a primary key called ID. It has a multi-valued attribute called phone number. So multi-valued attribute is represented using this double circle. It denotes that this function person customer can have more than one number. And it also has something called a driving license number. Now this is an entity and this is an entity. Now Customer and vehicle, these two entities are related with this relationship called owner. Which is, if a customer buys a vehicle and one customer can buy any number of vehicles. So we have a one to many relationship. Right? And customer participates totally in the relationship. Which means, every entity of the customer is involved in, uh, is, is participates in at least one entity of the vehicle. Now, but some vehicles cannot have any owner, right? So, not all vehicles are will participate totally in the relationship. Some vehicles might not be sold yet. So, they won't be participate in totally in the relationship. First, if, if one is a customer, he participates totally because he has at least one vehicle he owns. Now, the question Let's come back to the question given. It was given that E1 and E2 are two entities. Relation is R. Both participate totally. E1 participates 
the uh, the relationship is many to one relationship now given that it's a many to one relationship right every entity of e1 okay will be associated with only one entity of e2 okay because it is a one relationship on the e2 side and every entity of e2 is associated with more than one entity of e1 but won't be zero why not zero because it's total e2 every entity in e2 is associated with more than one entity of e1 because it's a many relationship on the e1 side okay. now given that it's total participation so every entity of e1 is associated with exactly one entity of e2 if it wouldn't have been total participation then it could also be that at most one entity but since it's total participation given every entity of e1 is associated with exactly one entity of e2 and every entity of e2 is associated with at least more than one entity of e1 one or more than one entity of e1 because it participates totally it won't be zero now focus on this line every entity of e1 is associated with exactly one entity of e2 so option a says every entity in e1 is associated with exactly one entity of e2 which is our correct answer so i hope you all get this thank you